Hello and welcome to this IBM course. In this video, we will be looking into enterprise design thinking. My name is Sasan and I will be your instructor throughout this course. Section one of this video will be an introductory overview to enterprise design thinking. In section one, we will look into what design thinking is, who can use it and its framework. So you may be wondering what design thinking is. Design thinking is a problem solving approach aimed at improving people's experiences. Design is the intent behind an outcome. Human centered outcomes require you to develop empathy with the people you serve. Design thinking isn't just for designers. It's a mindset anyone can apply by thinking like a designer about how you can improve the current experience of your users. Enterprise design thinking can be used by large dispersed teams. It is a framework which teams can use to consider their users and solve meaningful problems, helping teams understand people's needs from intent and deliver outcomes to satisfy those needs at speed and scale. The IBM model of enterprise design thinking consists of three major principles, focusing on user outcomes, restless reinvention, and diverse empowered teams. The IBM loop is a visualization of the firm's approach to design thinking. It represents a continuous cycle of observing, reflecting, and making. Observing is about immersing yourself in the real world of your users via design research. This may involve interviews, user observations and online research. Reflecting is about sharing your aha moments as a team, synthesizing, learning and deciding on the next steps. Finally, making is about giving concrete form to abstract ideas and validating these ideas with users. The faster you can get your ideas in front of an actual user in the form of a low or high fidelity prototype, the faster you can innovate. The loop is how you work. It's how you move from learning about people to creating outcomes that improve their lives. It's about how you make sense of ambiguity within complex domains. The process of learning through the loop allows a team to fail early and quick, mitigating risks through incremental changes. These series of small failures eventually lead to robust, battle-tested innovations. The keys are IBM's scalable practices for enterprise team alignment, made up of hills, playbacks, and sponsored users. Hills are human-focused mission statements that describe a future enablement for a specific user. In other words, something a specific user is enabled to do. They follow a format of who, what, and wow. Who, who is our user? What, what will your user be able to do that they could not do before? And finally, wow, what differentiates you from the competition and how will you measure success? Playbacks use memorable human-centered stories to share work in progress to keep team members and stakeholders aligned throughout a project. This may be in the form of a simple visual aid such as a diagram or sticky notes or presentations including video on the use of prototype interaction. Feedback from playbacks is then used to inform subsequent loops and measure progress against hills. Finally, we have sponsored users. Sponsored users are real world users such as external clients, future clients or end users that contribute domain expertise to a subject and project by allowing you to validate your assumptions and break empathy barriers. A typical project may involve speaking to sponsored users twice a month for an hour over a period of six to nine months as the project evolves. The goal is to better understand the user's workflow, their day-to-day -day risks, their frustrations and needs. In addition to validating project progress, sponsored users may even attend brainstorming sessions and playbacks. 
Section 2 of this video, we will be looking into the first principle in more depth. In this section, we will look into focusing on user outcomes, what to do with your assumptions, and asking why. As a team, you are able to more easily decide what's important when you focus on the users and their needs by asking questions such as Who are our users? What is their current experience? And how could it be improved? It is important to also recognise your assumptions. Constant refinement and validation of assumptions allow you to learn to paint a clear picture of your users' true experiences. Asking why digs deeper into a problem or uncovers the intent behind an idea, ensuring problems are solved in the best possible way. To do this, we can carry out the five whys exercise. This involves asking why roughly five times, as shown by this example enabling us to come closer to the root cause of the problem. In section 3 of this video, we will be looking into the second principle of enterprise design thinking. In this section, we will look into how our work is never done, failing fast and cheap, and giving form to your ideas. The term our work is never done is essentially saying that active continuous testing and learning is key in order to improve the solution to a problem. Yesterday's horse-drawn carriage was a prototype for today's automobile. Today's automobile is just another prototype for tomorrow's transportation breakthrough. Prototypes provide understanding of how the design concept aligns with the user's mental model or doesn't. Through feedback, changes can be made, and therefore failing early saves time and money. Everything starts with an idea, but you can't learn much about an idea without giving it some form. Visualise your ideas so that your team and users can understand them clearly. In section 4 of this video, we will be looking into the third and final principle of enterprise design thinking. In this section, we'll look into what diverse empowered teams are, how to stay aligned and how to identify if you are aligned. The more diversity you can tap into when solving a problem, the more likely you are to find a breakthrough solution. All the practices involved in design thinking, such as design research, user observation, brainstorming and ideating are amplified when working with diverse teams that bring varied skills perspectives and backgrounds to the project. A group of people with varied expertise and perspectives can successfully make decisions together and work towards shared goals. Diverse teams have varied perspectives, skills and backgrounds. They build upon each other's ideas, enrich each other's knowledge and challenge each other's assumptions in ways that accelerate the work. Empowered teams have the agency to make everyday operational decisions on their own. They're equipped with the expertise and the authority to deliver outcomes. You can stay aligned as a team by making time on a regular basis to share what you're doing with the whole team. It's the only way to make sure you're all doing the right work and heading in the same direction together. Encourage open communication with your team, stakeholders and sponsored users. Sometimes you assume you're aligned when you're not. Teams break out into solo work and end up duplicating efforts or delivering things that aren't useful. In order to stay aligned, you must first recognize if you are or not. In this course, we have built upon the important foundations of design thinking and have covered the skills such as design research, collaboration, ideation, storytelling and synthesis. You are now ready to complete the Enterprise Design Thinking course and earn your badge. That is it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Be sure to leave a like and comment, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.